Hello everyone, and welcome to the video lesson on powers. In this video we'll be defining what a power is and seeing how we can manipulate it and use it in uh, our work in class. To start with, we should answer the question, what is a power? A power is a way of showing that a term is multiplied by itself multiple times. Powers are ways of showing that a term is multiplied by itself multiple times. Powers have a few pieces. If I look at 3 to the exponent 4, the whole thing together is considered the power. The number 3 is the base of the power, and the number 4 is the exponent of the power. Another way to say this is the base is the identical term. It's the term that will be multiplied by itself many times. And the exponent is how many times it is being multiplied. So 3 to the exponent 4 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That little dot is a type of mathematical shorthand for multiply. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 3 to the exponent 4. So let's evaluate a few power questions. 2 to the exponent 5 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The number 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. If I evaluate this in my head or on my calculator, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. 2 to the exponent 5 is equal to 32. When we write an expression with numbers separated by brackets with no addition symbol or subtraction symbol in between that's understood to be multiplication. Let's try another one. Negative 3 to the exponent 3. So here our base is negative 3 and I'm multiplying negative 3 by itself three times. Again I can do this in my head or I can do this on my calculator negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 27. Let's try another one. Negative 3 to the exponent 4. That's the same as negative 3 times itself 4 times. Evaluating that, I get positive 81. Take a moment to look at B and C and look at the differences between the answers and notice how one is negative and one is positive. See if you can figure out why when I have the number negative 3 raised to an exponent sometimes the answer would be negative and sometimes the answer would be positive. So have you figured out why sometimes negative numbers raised to an exponent are negative and sometimes the overall answer is positive? The rule is simple. Negative numbers raised to an odd exponent, that's a number like 3, 5, 7, and so on. 
a negative number raised to an odd exponent will have an answer that is negative overall. Negative numbers raised to an even exponent, 2, 4, 6, and so on, will have an answer that is positive overall. Another important rule to remember when working with powers is that the exponent applies to only what it is directly touching. As an example, if I write negative 3 raised to the power 4 and don't put any brackets around the base and the negative, this means negative bracket 3 to the exponent 4. So since the exponent applies to only what is directly touching, since that exponent of 4 is only directly connected to the 3, that's the only part of this power that gets it multiplied by itself 4 times. So this would become negative bracket 81 or negative 81. Here's a question to try. Negative 5 in brackets squared plus in brackets 10 minus 3 squared. Try this on your own and then compare your answer with mine. Well, in brackets, negative 5 squared means negative 5 times negative 5. Since that's a negative number that has an even exponent, I know my overall answer will be positive, and it'll be positive 25. Following bed mass, I'll also evaluate what's inside this bracket first, and inside the bracket I need to evaluate the exponents first. Since this negative 3 squared doesn't have brackets around it, that exponent of 2 is only directly touching the number 3, not the negative sign. So negative 3 squared really means 3 squared first, which becomes 9, and then I attach the negative sign to it. So as I continue to solve, this simplifies to 25 plus 10 take away 9, which is 1, or 26. So in summary, in this video, we talked about how powers are a way of showing that a term is multiplied by itself many times. The power can be broken up into two pieces, the base and the exponent, and the exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. And the last main point from this video is that we need to remember the exponent applies to only what it is directly touching. So negative 4 to the power of 5, if there's no brackets around that negative 4, really means negative bracket 4 to the power of 5. Ooh.